sharpen those knives and get knotting that novelty apron. It's time for the 10 best cooking games. I'm food and games is a means to an end. Just like in real life, burgers and tins of fruit are a pickup to keep us alive that little bit longer. But it's important not to overlook the humble cooking game, the genre where it's your job to manage entire kitchens, serve up perfect plates of tasty foods and do it all in front of an ever frustrated queue of customers. These are games that a lot of people play on mobile, but it's a genre that makes an absolutely perfect PC companion when you're hungry to stack burgers, make nachos or even craft the pizza of your dreams with painstaking pepperoni placement. See if you can stand the heat with the 10 best cooking games on PC. Let's get to work! Here's the thing, if real cooking was even half as stressful as the two overcooked games, we'd probably all just be living off porridge and sadness by now. Anyone who thinks that a soup making session with a significant other or best friend will be a pleasurable stock-based bonding experience would be better steering clear. Cooking in this co-op kitchen sim is cutthroat. Getting everything chopped, blended, fried or flambéed in time is a battle worthy of one of Matt's favourite Total War games, and there's the not-so-small matter of dirty dishes to contend with. While this all makes it sound like a food nightmare, the sheer satisfaction of a functioning kitchen is enough to make overcooked worth all the breakups and fury. As charming as a mouse in a chef's hat, with a brilliant sense of humour and beautiful if lethal kitchens, these games are the ultimate co-op comfort food. We need to talk about Battle Chef Brigade. We've already made a whole video out of the most delicious gaming food and how ravenously hungry we get if we don't eat an entire roast dinner before playing. But this cooking sim crossed with Hack and Slash truly takes the monster meat coated biscuit. It's always good to know where your food comes from and Battle Chef Brigade is no different. It sends you out to kill the various creatures necessary to create the mouth wateringly delicious meals that you'll then cook as part of a matching colour tile game. Yes, it looks and sounds like an odd mashup, but somehow your quest to become the ultimate battle chef just works. Hacking and slashing at your food to be, and the desperate tension of getting your cooking just right, makes a perfect combination. Like peanut butter and jam, or salt and vinegar Pringles and melted chocolate. Don't at me, this is a truly perfect taste sensation. Viv La Brigade. We don't number our best game lists because we like to think that once you've made it into the top 10, you shouldn't be fighting with the other games. Just think what zombie games could do to each other. But when it comes to the best games to make you feel like a true god of the kitchen, Cook Serve Delicious 2 is the true victor. From Vertical Games, this cook em up deserves its very own golden chef's hat as the whipped cream of the already delicious crop. Where other titles in this list are about burgers or pizzas, Cook Serve Delicious does it all. Steak, hot dogs, corn dogs, pretzels, salads, uh, cereal, and it doesn't stop at food. The toilets need to be cleaned, yes, you sanitise your hands afterwards, and you can even take on criminals in hand-to-hand -hand combat when they come to steal all that hard-earned cash from your restaurant. Dishing out justice aside, organisation is key here as holding areas keep fast food sizzling and ready to serve while you construct more complex dishes. Winner winner, chicken dinner indeed. Okay, may maybe not this one. We've talked about Stephen's sausage roll before in our video on the best puzzle games, but this tasty brain scratcher is equally a cooking game, even if you're not serving up these links to anyone in particular. The aim of the game is simple. These sausages need cooked on all sides, and like the title might suggest, in order to do so, you need to roll them around using a fork. This is a near perfect puzzle experience, and you won't really have time to consider whether you'd like ketchup, mustard or both, as you mentally contort your brain to work out exactly how to flame grill each sausage to perfection. No matter how impossible it looks as you traverse island after island of fiendish cookery, there's always a way to solve each tasty scenario, even if you will occasionally feel like the worst. The joy of cooking games isn't about graphical prowess. If it was, Burger Shop 2 definitely wouldn't make the finger-licking grade. In fact, you'd probably die of E. coli if you tried just that. 
However, while it might look like the kind of no-brand burger shop that always has sticky floors and suspiciously cheap pricing, this cooking sim has the secret sauce that makes these kind of games so compelling. Like everything on this list, it starts off simple before you're suddenly plating up full meals for your not-so-patient customers. A conveyor belt has all the ingredients you'll need, but you'll need to combo and cook, all the while making sure that everyone has the onion rings or fries they need. Where Burger Shop 2 really shines is its audio. If you want endless, satisfying frying noises or the wonderful icy slosh of a soda fountain, this is fast food for your ears as well as your brain. Yes, I am loving it. There's only ever going to be one winner when it comes to the best VR cooking game, and that's the human impersonating joys of Job Simulator. The gourmet chef level here is far too much fun, as even going into the fridge to get fresh ingredients feels like an adventure. Who cares that robots can't even eat food? Using the Sandwich Stacker 2000 is a sheer joy as you pile up ingredients and ring the serving bell. Oh, and we do recommend waiting for a person to serve that oversized hot dog too. Oh, never mind. You rebel, you. Thank you, human. May I have another? Let's get this out of the way first. Diner Bros isn't just a clone of Overcooked. Yes, you can play with friends, and yes, you will get increasingly more irate as your sous chef doesn't manage to make a simple salad in time for a jogger not to leave in fury. But Diner Bros is the full cooking and serving experience. It's going out, braving the humans sitting out there in the restaurant, taking the orders, and coming back within a reasonable time with something that doesn't look like it's been scraped off the underside of a boot. It starts off simple with burgers and a tiny cafe, but before you know it, you'll be making baked potatoes, frying chicken, and serving up ice cream, all while the very real customers get progressively angrier. On the up, there aren't any dishes to deal with, just the guilt of ignoring customer after customer as you desperately try and deliver the right flavour of milkshake. Just because it's free and only requires you to click your mouse repeatedly doesn't mean that Cookie Clicker is any less of a cooking game. Sure, you don't see the kitchen or any of the grannies that you're putting to work in your factory, or even the cookie farms that we can imagine are like something from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but that doesn't mean that your clicks of the mouse aren't creating just that. There's something far too satisfying about Cookie Clicker that no one really likes to admit. Plus, we really like hearing the button press of a G502 hero. Then there's the endless rain of deliciousness on screen, the mines of chocolate chips, the shipments and alchemy labs and portals, and the fact that you're surely being great for the community and hiring an elderly workforce. Yes, it's mindless. Yes, it doesn't require much thought, but hey, that's just how the cookie crumbles. I'm not even sorry. So, campfire cooking isn't too far removed from Stephen's sausage roll, but there's enough tasty puzzling to go around, and you shouldn't dismiss Leighton Hawk's charming marshmallow sim. Just like those aforementioned worst, these squishy marshmallows on forks around the fire need to be perfectly cooked on each side. This means plenty of sliding, brain gymnastics, and resisting the gurgles of your stomach as you help them fulfil their sweet, fluffy, cloud-like destinies to be evenly charred. Of course, things start off simple before adding magnets, soup and science into the mix, but the difficulty incline is as gentle as a friendly hike, and the chatty family intermissions make for a charming journey into the woods. Even if there isn't any phone reception, and far too many carnivorous animals to feel entirely comfortable. But yay, marshmallows. There are plenty of reasons to play Good Pizza, Great Pizza. The sass you get from a rival pizza maker for one, the customers hailing you a maestro of tomato discs for another, or if you're into a very specific type of ASMR video, the sound that the pizza toppings make as they go onto the dough. Just listen. Ah, cheese. Oral experiences aside, there's just something very pleasing about this early access dough fest. You start off getting guidelines for where to put your delicious toppings, but very quickly, Good Pizza, Great Pizza hands all the responsibility to you. How much cheese is tasty for the customer, but cheap enough for you to allow? Is this pepperoni placement good enough to allow for delicious, equidistant meat circles when I eventually slice it up? Throw in a stack of toppings, fussy customers, and all manner of restaurant upgrades, and this makes you feel like a one-human pizza production powerhouse. Dough or dough not, there is no try. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed our 10-course tasting menu of the best cooking games on PC. Let